and this quad. Welcome back to Minnesota. Is it worth it? So base episode, low, we got this cool arms right here and basically what this is, is a tire inflator. And we see for the one that we got right here from this brand and for this one in particular, they call it X8 Apex. So this is what the package looks like when you guys first get it. Let me actually open it up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. So once you guys do open up, there's a box inside a box. And once you guys take out the box, this is what the inside looks like. So the cool thing about this tire inflator or air compressor is the fact that not only does it work as a tire inflator, but it also works as a power bank as well. So that way, if you guys need to charge devices, maybe like your phone or something, you do have the option available. But if you guys turn the back, they do probably got what's included inside. And they probably got some specs and features on here. So they mentioned the battery capacity that's on here is 7800 mAh. And right here on the side, they do show you guys what you guys can use it on. And they do have different modes available. So there's a ball mode, there's a bike mode, there's a motorcycle mode, car mode, and a manual mode. But first, I'm actually open this up to show you guys what's included inside. All right. So once you guys open up, this is what the inside looks like. But when you guys do take it out, there is some more stuff in the bottom. So let's see what's in the bottom first. So in the box in the very bottom, they do probably got this extension tube. They do probably got the user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And inside right here, they do probably got the charging cable that can plug in to recharge the product with a USB to USB-C. And here they probably got two of the accessory tools that you could probably use for like the ball, and etc. And right here they do probably got a little bag to actually store the product inside with the brand logo in the front. And the way how they designed the bag inside is actually pretty nice. They do have another pocket inside. So that can put the accessory like the cable and etc. inside to keep that organized separately if you guys want to. But that is basically everything that's included in the package. Now I'm gonna show you guys the actual product. So I see when you guys do take out the product, it's all nicely wrapped up. But if you guys do open it, here is basically what the product looks like once you guys do take it out. So in the front is basically the display screen. And then here we do have the button for it to use. So there's a power button, there's a plus and minus button, there's a light button, and there's also another button on the side. So if I bring it up close, that's what it should look like. Top part right here, we do have the light dimension. And as we roll out the product, and we see we do have the ventilation fan to prevent it from overheating. And here is basically where you can put in a accessory to start using the product. And the bottom is basically where you can plug in a cable to recharge it, or like I mentioned, use it as a power bank as well. So and see how they do have a USB-C option and a USB option. So the USB option you guys only use as an output, and the USB-C option you can only use as an input. But when you guys do look at the product on the side right here, and on this side, they also have the ventilation fan on the side as well to prevent it from overheating. So before she test it out, let me plug in cable to show you guys how to charge it. So as I'm plugging the USB-C cable in the bottom, once you guys do plug it in, you can see it does show you guys that it's charging. So right now it's less than halfway charged. So you probably want to let it fully charge before you guys do use it. But if you guys do turn it on, it won't let you guys turn it on when you guys are charging it. But if you guys do unplug the cable, if you guys try to turn it on again, that does work. So once you guys do turn it on, if you see the top part show you have the battery life, here show you have the real time result. And here is basically what you guys want to set in terms of where you guys want to pump. So now I try different buttons on here to see how it works. So if I do turn on the light, that is the first option. That is the second option. And that turns it off. So if you see when you guys do turn on the light, it is pretty bright, but it's not like super bright. But really cool how it does provide you guys that option. If you guys press on the other button, That basically allows you guys to bring it up or bring it down. If you guys press on this button, that pretty much allows you guys to change the different mode. So depending on what you guys are using it for, you can change the mode based on your own preference, or you can use manual mode as well. And the cool thing about the product, if you can see, it is cordless, so you don't have to plug in cable to actually use it. And once you guys are ready to start using it, you do want to press the button in the middle. If as in here, it's actually really loud when you guys do use it. And pretty much once it reaches to this point right here of what you guys do set it up as, it will turn off by itself. But now let's try to use the USB option to see when actually it works. So right here, I do have the charger. If I do plug it in the bottom, let me see if that does work. So really cool how it does provide you guys the option to use as a power bank. And if you guys want to use the product while charging your other device, that does work as well. So pretty much once you guys are ready to start using it, you want to screw the parts on top. So you guys don't use that option and put it on, but if you guys want to use the ball option, you guys want to unscrew it and put this one on instead, just like that. Or if you guys want to use the other one, you want to take it out and screw this one on instead. So just like that, and you can start using it. And they mentioned for the product when you guys do use it, it's two times more powerful than like the previous version or any other time inflators that's very similar to this one. But that is basically everything that's on the product. 
Now I'm just gonna test this out to show you guys what it actually works and then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so right here we do have our tire. So what I'm gonna do is to turn on the actual product and plug it in. So I'm gonna change the setting to car. We have to bring it up or bring it down based on your own preference. Then we see how when we do press the button, it allows you guys to change the different settings on here in terms of what you guys want to use. So we basically have PSI, bar, KPA, and back to PSI. So for this test, we'll use bar and we'll do 2.4. So we have to open up. Let's plug it in. So see how once you guys do plug it in, it show you guys that it's 2.2. But if you guys push the power button. And you see how it does turn up by itself once it reaches that level. And you see when you guys use the product, it definitely pumps out the air into your car tire really fast. So you can see the product definitely does work. Welcome back guys. So nice little quick test of product and definitely actually does work and actually works quite well. If you see when you guys do the product, it is really loud like I mentioned. But when you guys do use it, it definitely helps you guys inflate a lot faster than the previous version that I showed you guys before from this brand. And I love the fact of how it is wireless and the fact of how it does work as a power bank. So that we can get a two in one. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now the unboxing and testing product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually working on. So for this part, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need warranties, especially if you guys in the market looking for a high quality tire inflator that's basically wireless, work as a power bank, and give you guys everything that I mentioned on here, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have to want these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. <laughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have to want these, obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you really do need so that's basically everything for this video itself if you guys like this video make sure to smash that like button in the bottom that will definitely help this video out and it'll definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well but as always make sure to stay positive be you and i'll see you guys in the next episode of is it worth it peace